The NASCAR season may be on hold, but it's not stopping drivers from competing virtually. CBS 42's Jack Royer sat down with a NASCAR Hall of Famer to talk about iRacing and how drivers and fans are still enjoying racing during uncertain times. We're joined today by Bobby Labonte, a NASCAR winner many times, a Hall of Fame inductee who is now enjoying iRacing. Bobby, thanks for your time. First of all, let's start with this. Did you ever think millions of people would turn on the television to watch drivers virtually drive NASCARs? Not in a million years, that's for sure. So it's definitely a, a different um, different way of looking at it right now. I mean, obviously, we didn't know this was, uh, was, would take place a couple a couple weeks ago. Uh, e racing, uh, i racing, NASCAR has been behind the e racing part about it, and uh, i racing has been a platform that's been around for a long time, and it does get a lot of viewers. But I know they've had a lot more subscriptions in the past two months than they've ever had at one time. So um, there's a lot going on there. And uh, for Fox to have picked it up to be shown on uh, on TV on uh, Sundays and even some Wednesday nights has been exciting for, for NASCAR being at this time that everybody's on, uh, on pause until we, as I would say, the yellow flag's out until we get the green flag back out. So I've uh, been able to be a part of it, and that's uh, been exciting for me and a lot of fun as well. So I get to do it from home, which is really cool. Perfect timing for sure. Was this something you did beforehand? I know a lot of drivers were already i racing and real time racing, if you will. Was this something you were interested in before? I've, I've always been interested in, in uh, simulation racing, and I've been a i racing member since about 2005, and so I haven't always done it, and so it's come a long ways, and I think that everybody's doing a, uh, a great job with it. The i racing platform is amazing, and. A lot of guys younger now, younger guys nowadays are really using it as far as a tool for them to not just have fun, but just really hone their skills, whether whatever it might be that they work on. So um, it's definitely a platform that gives a lot of guys an opportunity to do things uh, maybe they wouldn't get to do because you know you only get so much time to practice or opportunities to drive a race car um, time-wise on weekends and stuff like that. I know some guys are a little better at the eye racing than they may be or may have had success on the track. What's the difference? Obviously, there's a drastic difference, but what is it that makes some guys really skilled at this eye racing when they may struggle when they get out there with everybody else? Well, I mean, there's all, there's it's different across the board. Uh, Timmy Hill is uh, lives close to me here, and in his uh, he's really I mean he's been i racing for many years and honed his skills at it and has a lot of wins and is really good at it on uh, on the Sundays that we've seen. Uh, obviously, and there's some other guys as well. And then you have veterans that might not have done the i racing thing as much. But I think as far as uh, gaming goes, it's a lot of it's I, I feel like it's hand eye coordination and it's a lot of just knowledge on what. What you what you're working with and what you're doing with it. So uh, I think it goes in different ways, and you see guys that are um, better at it now than they were two weeks ago, and some are about the same. And you you know you don't know there's just different variances in it. But I think it's just a matter of another tool in the toolbox to, for people to hone their skills, whatever it might be, to get better at it. And a lot of guys are really good at it. I know it's probably given fans a sense of normal during these ridiculously uncertain times in sports across the board. How are you and your fellow drivers doing with all of this? And, and uh, just kind of give us a status check of how y'all are making it through. Mm -hmm. Well, I, can, I can't speak for everybody, but I'm on uh, the radio sometimes with some guys that I race with or work with at, uh, on the TV station, so uh, I think everybody's you know doing the same thing. I mean, there this this i racing thing that that we're on TV now on Sunday, some Wednesday nights. The next thing you know, it's Monday night, Tuesday night, Thursday night, Saturday. You know, we're we're almost doing it full time. So I think a lot of I think everybody's ready to get back to racing and, and ready to get over um, you know the fear of being you know having some sickness and, and don't want anybody to to get sick and, and we want to do it the right way. But uh, there's definitely a time that everybody wants to go back. But I think everybody's doing well, just kind of hanging out. And thank goodness we do have the iRacing part that's uh, given us uh, a little bit of outlet. Um, you know, if we, didn't if we didn't have it, I'm not sure what we'd be doing. So at least that's a good thing. But I think everybody's doing okay right now. Silver lining, indeed. We'll see you Sunday for the next iRace. Bobby Labonte, NASCAR Hall of Famer, thank you for your time. Yep, thank you.